Hello everyone, this is Kevin Yarko. Today I'm going to talk about how the right arpeggio placement and run placement can completely change your style. I'm going to use the song that will never be another you. Um, you know, and um, like I said, now everything is available on YouTube. The masters are also available on YouTube. You can be live um, and listen to you know the great pianists, piano masters. Of all gen all the uh, jazz uh, periods, you can listen to Errol Ghana, you can listen to uh, Hank Jones, uh, Tommy Flanagan. These are some of my favorites. Uh, Ahmad Jamal. You can watch them live and see how they approach uh, things. Uh, Bill Evans, Barry Harris, you know, and um, see how they pro and a big part of their playing is arpeggios, especially when they're doing solo piano or trio. So uh, let me go ahead show you what I mean and then. Go ahead and show you the the placement, what I'm talking about, and arpeggios, okay? Alright, so that was very simple uh, illustration of uh, there would never be another use and my placement of arpeggios. It's a great technique for uh, giving you a full sound, also understanding runs and even playing better solos, okay? Um, so, you know, the first chord I did there, you know, I could do, it was um, uh, A flat major 7, okay? I have the fifth on top, but I could approach it with a two five one and do something like this. You know, where I made the E flat altered and then to the A flat major set. And you can already see how that changes the style, make making me look, you know, a bit more flashy, you know. You know, there I could do like a whole toast. Uh, run. I'm going with the D flat whole tone scale. And that's all it is, and I'm just you know descending. So again, I can do that. Right. But then I'm doing a minor um, run there. I mean, a, a minor arpeggio, right? I'm, that chord there is a C7 flat uh, flat nine, right? And there is a, a a tenth and a sharp five in there. So I'm, all I'm doing is arpeggiating these three, and they're already. the arpeggio and then to the one so they they really have a way of changing your style and,
can do that on the one. Just our pledge it in the chords. We have an E flat uh, major chord. You know, my right hand is playing the uh, major seventh and an octave below with the third and the f uh, five. So I could just arpeggiate that. You know, and um, let me play it uh, with that and then you see how it sounds. And then once when you arpeggio or when you um, arpeggiate it, your bass line placement is also important, you know? So I might do Alright, let's uh, let's try again and, and watch how the arpeggios work together with the bass line placement. Alright, hold tone one again. So that's just to show you, arpeggios can really improve your style, you know. Uh, like I would, I did there with the, um, on Green Dolphin Street, you know, right? That's an arpeggio in the beginning. A minor, E flat minor arpeggio there, right? And this chord there is, uh, F7 with a ninth in there and a 13. Right? I went to the one I can do a arpeggio. to the five I could do an arpeggio there and then back changing the voice in a little bit uh, to bring it make it interesting so I could do something like this you see what I did there instead of play this way I did it this way So that's on uh, Green Dolphin Street, what I can do with it. So it's applicable with all um, all um, standards and all keys. You know, if I did Green Dolphin Street and C, or I could do the same thing I did there where I was, I was doing. Right, I could do that same thing. So there are many ways you can use that. Uh, I hope this really helps you playing. This is Kay Binyaka again, bringing you another lesson in jazz piano techniques. Remember to subscribe and stay tuned for more lessons.